Hey guys, it's William here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get unlimited leads and how to contact these unlimited leads all on autopilot. Unlimited leads and how to contact them on autopilot is going to be a powerful one-two punch. This is not one you're going to want to miss. to this channel make sure to hit subscribe turn on that bell notification because i promise you this is not a channel you're going to want to miss my name is william i have 20 years of seo experience and i've scaled an agency from only four clients to hundreds and hitting seven figures in less than a year without further ado let's go ahead and get started so as many of you probably know one of the toughest things in running an agency or running a business in general is getting leads one of the ways that us as seos or agencies get leads um, we need leads or people that are trying to build a website or they're trying to get SEO. In this video, this is essentially what I'm going to show you. Nice. If you've ever been to a website, they have always a contact page usually. And on that contact page, a lot of times is a form, right? These forms can be filled out. A, the con company's wanting you to contact them about a roof, have back repair, AC unit, whatever it may be. But we're going to take advantage of this and we're going to actually contact them trying to get our foot in the door. <laughs> yeah, boy. If you stay to the end, I'm actually going to give you the template on the email I send out to clients that has helped us get many leads and helped us scale. So please stay to the end. It's not one you're going to want to miss. So without further ado, the name of this form or program is called RoboContact. Right? Now, if you've seen it, but this is it right here. Right, so we go to RoboContact, and once we've got it set up, one of the things you'll love about RoboContact is they actually have training down here. So if you're not very familiar with it, you can go in there. They even show you how to set up your Google API and everything. I love this. I love the platform. It's a tier five platform. It's wonderful. So we go over here to campaigns. You know, I've already ran several campaigns. We can run. Let's go ahead and run another one. Okay, just so we can demo how easy this is in filling out the contact forms. At this point in the venture, we're not wanting to spam these people. And by spam, I mean you're not putting links in there. You're not putting a messenger bot. You're not putting pictures or videos or none of that bullshit. Okay, what you're doing is you're just trying to get your foot in the door. At the end of this video, I'm going to share with you all guys, if you stay, a template in which I send out to anybody that contacts me back from these contact forms. So. Let's just say, um, let's say air conditioner. I don't, we're just looking, air conditioner, right? That's going to be the name of this one. We're going to go with Orlando, right? We're going to enter the city. It's going to be in Orlando in this case, Orlando, Florida, air conditioner. I already have my profile set up. I'm just going to use my if you will, default profiles. I always, me personally, I want to send out the form and the email. So I'm going to choose that I'm going to send out the email and the form, this little button right here. So it all sends out both at the same time. I can also set up Zaps. I don't really use Zapier too much. And then hit search. Once I hit search, I'm going to sit back, relax. It's going to go through. It's going to collect all the forms. It's going to find any business on Google Maps that uses air condition, air conditioning, any of those, you know, that specific term in that specific city. Then once it's done, it will come back as an Excel sheet and basically show you, okay, here are the businesses that, and here are their phone numbers. Here are their email addresses. Wow. Now, that being said, once I have their email addresses, I can also use Chirply. I've discussed Chirply as well. I'm probably going to discuss it again this week in which we could do what we call IVRs or call drops, okay, onto their phone number, basically in which it calls them up and drops them a voicemail message. Uh, once again, you need to check with your local authorities to see what you can and cannot do with IVRs especially. Um, so for example, especially in a place like California or someplace like that, but let's go here and we're gonna view this one while the other campaign's running. And it basically tells you, okay, was an email found? 
not found, was a form found, and it automatically sends all of that beautiful information out for you. You click a button and it sends it out. What that means is now in my email box, I'm going to have people coming in and saying, hey, yeah, what was wrong with my website? And then I can get my foot in the door. Once I get my foot in the door, you know, which may be through me saying, hey, I was on your website. It looks broken. Is something wrong? And they contact me and say, hey, can you send me a screenshot? What do you mean? And then I send them a screenshot of whatever it may be. And I may send them a page speed test. I may send them broken links. I may send them all types of stuff Run a complete audit. At this point in the venture, I'm just trying to get my foot in the door. Most people where they get it wrong in sales is they try to just sell hard and sell fast. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. And reality is you need to build up a relationship and some rapport. We do this by trying to help people out and not just, if you will, sell something to them. Okay, the next tool in getting leads, if we can, we go over here, it's called domain leads, okay? Domain leads. I love domain leads. Domain leads is very powerful. It's another one-two punch. I love it. So if we went into domain leads, when someone registers a domain, there is a database of all these new domains. So if I wanted to search for a specific time period or whatever, I go in here and I enter in the time, you know, let's say the past few months. Let's say it's roofer. Let's say it's United States. I only want the .coms. And once I do that, I just hit search. I could even enter in zip codes. I mean, I could boil this down, honestly, to a specific city if I want. And that is hit search, sit back, relax, and it will then entail, go through its search for you and everything. Okay. Um, I wanted to show you a couple of things, what it does. So let's go ahead and, if you will, pull it up real quick. Let me look over here real quick. Domain leads. Okay. So if I went to my dashboard while well, that's pulling it up, because it does take a bit of time because it's pulling all the history, but you can see very well what it pulls up. Right? And it pulls up their name, their phone number, everything. I can then throw this into an IVR system like Chirply and automatically call them or I can then take the same spreadsheet, download it, because it does have a CSV ability, download CSV, and I can upload this into our other platform with RoboContact. When I go to create campaigns over here, I can create a new campaign, and I can do so through a CSV and upload the CSV. Isn't that beautiful? So these are two powerful tools that I use, that we've used for our own clients, the agencies that we work with, as well as ourselves to get unlimited leads, unlimited contacts, and then message them and get them to do business with us by simply giving, <coughs> excuse me, by simply messaging them the specific message I'm going to send you. If you comment below, I'll give you the template. I hope this is something you enjoyed. If you're interested either in domain leads or as in the robo contact, make sure to go into the description below because I give you the information below all about it and the link. So if you have any questions whatsoever regarding Google My Business or Google Business Profile SEO or marketing in general, please make sure to contact me. Contact us by, if you will, commenting on the video below and I'll message you directly. I appreciate all of you. You guys be blessed and have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hat. I was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents.